The emergence of an industrial nation during the 1800s in the United States brought about a storm of strikes and protests organized by workers under the guidance of labor unions, such as the Knights of Labor. Workers rallied together to protest the unjust wages, working hours, and working conditions in the factory. Tensions between employees and their employers were already near breaking point when the Knights of Labor announced a May 1, 1886 deadline for factory owners to implement an eight-hour workday. When that did not occur, 40,000 workers in Chicago and thousands of others nationwide went on strike. Meanwhile, workers at Cyrus McCormick's Reaper plant also went on strike seeking an eight-hour workday. However, McCormick refused their demands and replaced his workers with strike breakers. We must do something about these unfair wages and these unjust hours. I can't stand by and watch these unethical events continue. I agree, but what can we do about it? We shall protest. We will set the date up to March the 1st for our eight-hour day. But until then, we will go on strike. Yeah! yeah. We shall refuse to work until we are given what we demand. We shall plan a strike. Yeah! yeah. Day, higher, pay, shorter, day, higher, pay. Those invading immigrants just stole our job. This is because of them that we're still standing out here. Get them, guys. Attack! Ah! Stop them at once! Take out those anarchists! Run, police! Ah! 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 This is an outrage. Those policemen have no right to hurt those workers. I agree. Something must be done. We must hold a peaceful convention at the Haymarket Square and voice our opinion. Excellent idea. We should put up posters and have people support our cause. Yeah! 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 The labor unionists naturally were outraged. They called for vengeance against what they deemed to be a heinous act, and numerous newspapers boldly printed headlines demanding action. A meeting to protest the violence at McCormick's plant was scheduled for the night of May 4, 1886, at Haymarket Square on the corner of Randolph Street and Des Plaines Avenue. The meeting was to take place that night in Haymarket Square, and while it was called as a violent protest against the murders at McCormick's plant, it started out peacefully and smoothly. Many union leaders were angry at what happened in front of McCormick's factory. The same day, a German newspaper by the name Arbeiter Zutung distributed hundreds of flyers calling for violent action in response to what happened at McCormick's plant. So by the next day, many protesters were ready for action. A meeting at Haymarket Square was called and the Chicago Tribune actually warned the unionists against violent action. In fact, it went so far as to say every lamp post in Chicago will be decorated with a communistic carcass if necessary. Unfortunately, the union leaders ignored that warning and obviously Haymarket ended in a tragedy. <laughs> 